Okay, I have gotten quite a few questions about the um, RLC circuits. So I wanted to investigate that in a short video. This is the formula for the oscillation frequency of a, an RLC circuit. Remember what this is. An LC circuit will oscillate back and forth. That is, the charge on the capacitor will oscillate back and forth between opposite polarities. For the positively charged plate, uh, as the capacitor discharges, uh, current will flow. The inductor will oppose any changes that has the effect of, uh, as after the capacitor discharges, it recharges but in opposite polarity. Then it discharges again and recharges in opposite polarity, and so on and so forth. So the uh, positively charged plate keeps switching places. If one plate is positively charged after a certain amount of time, the other plate will be positively charged, and that keeps on going. Now, when we add a resistor to the circuit, we are taking energy out of the system. We're dissipating power uh, through the resistor. So we now have a damped oscillator. And so this is the oscillation frequency of a damped harmonic oscillator, uh, or a damped RLC circuit. Uh, a damped harmonic oscillator looks very similar, but with different physical parameters. Um, so we have three conditions. Um, we have critically damped, underdamped, and uh, overdamped. So I'm going to show you if you can determine whether or not something is the damping by looking at the uh, the, the portion of this equation under the radical. If the, the quantity 1 over LC is larger than quantity R over 2L squared, we have real solutions. Notice that will result in a positive number under the radical. We have real roots that we can take and the system has real solutions and will oscillate. That is, if it has real solutions, there is an, a non-zero oscillation frequency, so the system will oscillate. Of course, because the resistor is taking energy out of the system, those oscillations will decay in amplitude to the point where they finally stop, but the system will oscillate. <clears throat> However, if 1 over LC is equal to quantity R over 2L squared, notice what happens here. We get a zero under the radical. Uh, that means the oscillation frequency is zero. That's a real solution, but it does mean the system doesn't oscillate. This, uh, this refers to the situation in which the as the capacitor discharges, once it's discharged, it doesn't recharge because we've bled enough energy out of the system to keep it from doing so. The, the final possibility is the overdamped system. If 1 over LC is less than quantity R over 2L squared, notice we get uh, imaginary solutions. No oscillations occur. In a mechanical system, this would uh, be analogous to taking whatever is oscillating and drenching it in molasses. So it, there's a lot of resistive force. In the case of the, uh, the discharging capacitor in an RLC circuit, this has the effect of going, the current will go to zero, but it actually goes to zero a lot more slowly than it does um, in the, the normal uh, RLC circuit. So to show you what this looks like, I have a video. So this video can represent any number of quantities in an RLC circuit. It could represent the charge on the capacitor, it could represent the voltage across the plates of the capacitor. It could represent the current flowing through the system. What it actually represents uh, will, the phase of this, of this graph will vary, but the qualitative behavior of this graph will be the same for all components of the system. So I've just graphed this as a simple cosine function. Uh, and so what you see is the oscillation frequency, which is decaying, or I should say the oscillations which are decaying, and I've drawn in the envelope. They're, the uh, oscillations are decaying as a decaying exponential, which is where the envelope function comes in. And what I've done is I've parameterized this such that the resistance of the system increases with time, and you'll be able to see what happens to the oscillation frequency. So let's just watch it. Alright, so we'll watch that again. 
and I'll talk through it. So right now it's oscillate. I said the oscillation frequency in the last slide. I shouldn't have said that. The oscillation frequency doesn't change. The amplitudes of the oscillations change uh, as the system decays. And so as the resistance increases, my amplitudes get smaller and smaller and smaller until right there they uh, it ceases oscillating and you now have a, an overdamped system. Watch that one more time. So as R increases, you see what happens to the amplitudes. It goes to zero faster and faster and faster. Which makes sense because we're bleeding more and more energy out of the system. Okay, hope that clears some things up.